Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a hot minute and I'm gonna kick myself in the face. If I have to film this one more time because I need to leave. Right, hi guys, welcome back. Oh my God. Hey everyone, if, oh, okay. Hi guys, welcome back. Oh God, whatever. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for subscribing everyone. A random intro, but basically I haven't filmed in what feels like weeks because I've had the most horrible skin, as you can see. Feeling good, looking better guys. Um, and it's just really made me feel like utter crap. So I've really felt so bad about it um and i've just sort of been focusing on doing loads of halloween looks for my insta um and i can't film them because i've tried and it just ends up being a complete nightmare so yeah um that's what i'm doing uh but i made a really exciting order with glossier as you can see from the title um so this is my first glossier order and I've sort of been waiting for them to come out with something that I'm like, you know, when you like, okay, I, that's it, I'm going to buy it. So there's been, they've had products like that, but when they bought out the Future Dew, I was like, yeah, okay, I've just been paid. So it was all like a good, it all worked. So I finally made my first Glossier order. So yeah guys already got my sticker stuck on and then I also got a sticker with my skinny dip order so I put that on there What's that? I've already dented it mm. so that's what we're going to be doing um I'll talk you through what I bought because um I'm basically going to try and be Katie Jane Hughes and just do nice skin and she only uses concealer for skin, well for her own skin, not always but um, I've seen that basically that's what she does so she buffs in, it says um, the Glossier Stretch Concealer so that's the first one I got um, I then got the Cloud Paint um, and the colours I went, so I got the Cloud Paint in Haze I um, love this packaging by the way guys and then I also got the Generation G lipstick in Crush so they're both quite bold colours or like loud colours probably for my skin tone but I thought if they were really sheared out they'd be like just really nice so that's the look I'm going for um, I also got Boy Brow went for the clear wherever it says, oh there we go um, because I've used coloured um, brow pomades before and they just make an absolute mess so and then the baby that we're all here for the Glossier Future Do me this is my chin uh, so yeah I'm gonna zoom you in so you can see this because it's cool it's focused so this is what it looks like Oh, can you imagine? It is so beautiful. I hope it's focused. So look at this packaging, guys. I haven't actually seen what the pump's like. Oh my god. Is it a pump? Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, so it's just a little schnozzle. But, um, oh, there's a scratch on my bottle. Oh, well, I won't notice it. The rugby's on, guys, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so this is what the bottle looks like. So cute. And then the rest you've probably seen. Um, you can see my skin. Uh, the stretch concealer. Honestly, Glossier have got it down, haven't they? And I went for G8 because I thought if I'm going to buff it, I probably want it to be a bit more like the foundation colour I go for as opposed to being like what I would use my what concealer colour I would go for obviously boy brow in clear is also is this like a smaller size for the value pack because this thing is miniature and um, it's just like a white consistency uh, sorry white colour generation G lipstick in crush is 
Look at that, so cute. Um, honestly, I love their stuff. It's a really nice colour. But I wanted it to be like, a, I think they say it's like a raspberry sort of colour. I thought I would just like dab it on with a bit of um, Carex. And then obviously um, the cloud paint. It's hard, I'm like, I don't want to bin any of this packaging. It's so cute. And this, I'm assuming it's going to have a little metal thing on. Oh, so it's literally the same colour as this. So I think I'm going to keep you zoomed. Whichever way I'm going. So that you guys can really see what it looks like. Um, I'm going to start with the future Jew. So um, I watched a few Instagram videos and they say to like... Um, really pat it if you want um, it to be really dewy um, but then also once you've finished your makeup um, I'm really oil not oily I'm very once you've finished your makeup speak um, <laughs> to lightly like pat it where you want your dew basically so I'm gonna So, oh my god, that looks so pretty, and I probably didn't need two pumps, but I will, again, zoom you in. Oh, it's focused on my, me, and it's literally dripping everywhere. Oh, guys, can you sort of see? I know it's not focusing, and I'm going to break my camera, but it's such a nice colour. It must just melting so actually i'll just keep you this close and you can see what it looks like when it goes on wow it's got a really nice consistency it's like oh it's definitely there it is beautiful it almost is like <laughs> you know that sort of thickness you get with walida it's got that to it and i'm just gonna press it Whoa, oh, this is amazing. I'll do the same on this side. I'm guys, I'm watching with you in my viewfinder. I'm just gonna do what I did because I want it to be even. Oh, and it feels really nice on the skin. It's like cooling slightly. Can you, if you can hear that, I'm so sorry. It's a rugby. Oh my god, my skin looks like I. That was my first thought. Was I was like, this is glass skin. Like this is literally how you make glass skin. And then I'll put it on my forehead. Guys, I'm in love. <laughs> and then just sort of press it in. You know what I was thinking was. We gotta try. <laughs> um, was if you had, if I had good skin, um, this I would just wear this with like boy brow. Oh, guys, I need to get my mirror. I'm so sorry. This is sick. Oh, it looks really nice, and it on camera it pays off like. I don't know, it has such a good look. Oh, wow. It's weird because it's like, Walida makes you look greasy, which I don't mind because I'm all for the moisturising, but this, like, makes you look glowy. Look at that, guys. I'm like a glazed donut. Um, so let's keep going, but what does it say? Apply two pumps all over your face. It's the last step in your skincare routine. Add more to the high point, points on your face for extra glow. And I think on the box, apply two pumps. Oh yeah, just the same thing. I just thought I'd seen somewhere that you should pat it in, but wow, I love it. And it's basically skincare, isn't it? I can't remember what it is. An oil serum hybrid. I'm loving it and this is going to be so good now that it's getting colder. 
So I'll zoom it out slightly and we can um, get on with the concealer. So I went for G8, didn't I? G8. Hopefully. Oh, look at this. Ooh. <laughs> All right. I don't even know who this is meant to match, but. Ooh, straight away I'm, sorry, just like melting it with my, with my finger. Yeah, doesn't really smell of much. And I, I'm like the most unorganised person. If this is a painful video to watch, guys, it was painful to film. Oh, nice colour. This is kind of just like my foundation colour I usually go for. I will probably need to bronze up a bit to match my uh, neck, <laughs> my neck. Um, but I think I'm just gonna begin by patting it in. No wonder, this is stunning. Oh God, guys, ah, I'm so excited. This is a nice idea, you know, like, it's like a nice way of uh, doing your skin like it is true in what she's saying it's it is <laughs> it looks like your skin but just like better which is weird to like you just don't associate putting on concealers do you guys this is such a nice consistency like it's so warm when you put your fingers in it, it like melts straight away into your hands. So I, she usually, I think, just goes from the inner corners, but um, look at the state of me. I need covering up. <laughs> so you can see how it's like slightly covered that spot, but Honestly, I'm not that bothered when I've got spots. I try not to wear any makeup, but I'm also not uber fussed about covering them up. So I'm just getting this on. Now that I've sort of got that laid down on my face, I'm just going to close the lid and grab that buffing brush. I didn't have my coffee set on my leg. Mm. Guys, oat milk is life changing. Um, I think I'm just going to sort of check that there's no bl unblended bits, basically. So, I'm pleased with the way that looks. Um, the only thing is... I am going to need to bronze, so I could have got a darker concealer, that would have been a good idea. I definitely want to put some lighter concealer on my eyes to go out, because I like having that look of brighter under eyes. Um, and a bit of cream bronzer wouldn't go amiss, just to sort of match me up with my neck. but. Probably on a day-to-day -day basis, this would be a perfect colour. So, quick interlude. I'm just going to apply some of my Milk Makeup bronzing stick. Just to match me up. Um, yeah, checking the time. So, it's just the one in Baked that I love. But I definitely want to get the darker shade. Um, and then I'm going to buff that in this is just like the, you, know, you know I'm already excited at the thought of like having my dream skin products it's like milk and glossier Mm, it's so nice and it hasn't really changed the skin much it's just adds that bit of colour 
me looking like did it even make it cool so moving on to the cloud paint um i think i want to just squeeze a bit onto my hand and oh so so nice and work it in with my fingers it's got a really nice consistency that's what i like about these products is like they're really buildable so you know like it's just a light approach and it oh it's so nice you know like it's just i can't explain it it's just so skin like and fresh and it, it looks so just like the look i want and i think it's like i'm so happy i've like found or not that they're new to everyone but these brands where you're just you feel good using their makeup because it's like the look you want you know what i mean like there are so many brands that i love but just like you always go in with too much and all that kind of thing whereas like these brands it's like less is more and god that spot is angry um, <laughs> and it's just like a nice way of doing makeup and i love it so i do like that i probably could go in with a bit more and i think i do i need to put on lighter concealer to under my eyes because i think it's not doing this blush any favors Mm. so that's really cute let's go in with our boy brow I'm letting that concealer sit on those spots um, so guys I did give myself brow lamination uh, uh, I do regret it <laughs> I was about to say I don't really regret it as such but that is true I'm not mad about it like I miss them not being flat basically and where I, when I first like the idea of it was like this is such a good idea like you don't have to brush your brows up and I was thinking like oh like sometimes I'll only brush my brows up to leave the house but it's like a different brushed up because my hair's so thick on my brows they're like really stubborn and you'd brush them up and then probably by the time you get back they would have like almost settled to like a nice brushed up look how crazy am I that like it could look any different but not as high basically and I'm like just don't like it <laughs> I don't mind it when I've got makeup on but when I don't I'm like ooh I look like a nutcase so yeah I'm just covering them in castor oil every night so that hopefully they'll get a bit of their thickness back i know it doesn't last forever but they're so dry like it's oh, that's what i miss i think as well like the thickness of them like they look like they're stuck flat on my face now and i'm not a fan <laughs> so yeah they look all right now but this is after like seven days of thick castor oil on every night. I'm starting to see them plump back up a bit more, which is a relief. Um, but I'm, I'm just not mad about it. I'm glad I did it myself because if I'd paid for it, I'd probably be really angry because like I would have wasted money for someone and then I would have blamed someone for ruining my brows looking at the mascara I need to grab um so yeah I'm not I'm not like overwhelmed with it and it's just like one of those things sometimes I like I like being able to take makeup off and stuff um I enjoy that side of it because I want to take it off I don't want to have the permanent look of makeup so yeah going in with my better than sex Too Faced mascara because I didn't get a mascara because um, I did try to budget myself. God, 
this is off rocks and guys i've booked my flights for my christmas holiday um but i'm gonna go out to la for three weeks um and just explore basically i'm going on my own i can't wait and um vlog look around meet people do all that fun stuff and they've got a glossier haven't they is it a pop-up um but hopefully it will still be there when i go and if anyone has recommendations send them my way because i want to do everything when i'm there like, there's so much i want to do and i'm gonna rent a car so that i can get around just basically pretend that I live there for three weeks. Ideal. Ideal. Love it. Guys, I'm going to go in with the tiniest bit of powder. But first, I'm just going <laughs> to clean up this mascara. Um, and look at my eyelids. Oil lids, I literally just said. Eyelids. Living their best life. How do they get this oily? But slightly better and then I'm just going to use some of my Fenty powder and just pat where I want it which is like there just so I'm not ultra shiny oh my god I need to hurry up Guys, I was just about to leave. <laughs> I was looking at my cheek then. I just got changed. Um, and I nearly forgot to do my lips. So, going to pat on some Carmex. Pat, rub. So I just brushed my teeth. Mm -hmm. And then, I'm going to lightly pat the Crush lipstick would they call this yeah it says it's sheer so maybe I'll just go straight on where's my mirror <laughs> oh, am I not seeing anything oh yeah I can see Guys, that's so nice. I don't think I would have needed the uh, Carmex underneath. Because it is really sheer. It's What I wanted was literally this, like, oh, Glossier. How do they do it? Everything's like your skin, everything. Your lips, <laughs> your eyes. But better. God, it's so nice. Yeah, nice and natural. Guys, urgh, my flat hair, but I don't think I want to pat any more of the Super Dew on top. But. brush hair. I'm blunt. So, although I'm too pale. Um, 
Guys, I'm so pleased. Look at me checking myself out. Another brush hair. And another. So, what I thought. I think I want to try and do like a, a wear test, but it's cream, so I'm like, is there any point? Because we all know it's probably just not going to last that well. Um, but what I thought, all of the products were so nice. I literally can't fault them. And I'm definitely, definitely going to be using the Super Dew, I think, every day because it is skincare, isn't it? So I want to see what results I can get from it um, and I'm so pleased just wish my skin wasn't so spotty but um, and then usually I would probably go over with some bronzer and like do a bit of contouring but just want to see how it wears so I will update you guys I don't see why not And then just a quick one to show you it oh, in natural daylight. It's so much better. Um, I'm living my best life with this skin. Oh, guys. God, is my room a tip behind me? <laughs> Who cares? My skin's glowing. Yeah, so this is it in natural daylight. Yes, babe. Look at that. Hey guys, so fast forward like three weeks and I didn't, I'm just editing my Glossier video and I didn't ever finish it. So, um, I'm like leaning on my knee. It, it walked quite well. Actually, surprisingly, I'm like trying to think back because I don't think I've like worn a ton of makeup since. Um... It actually wore really well and lasted quite well. So I don't know whether that could be down to the um, Super Dew, almost like as a bit of a primer. Um, look at these boulders. Like My skin hasn't stopped. Well, my chin, correction, hasn't stopped being awful. So that hasn't changed. Uh, although I'm looking at those spots now like, God, what was I moaning about? These ones are so uncomfortable. Um, so yeah, it wore really well. Um, so that was good. Um, since then I've been using religiously, like when I'm doing my makeup, I've been using the concealer. I really love it. And the boy brow, cause my uh, brow lamination has dropped quite a lot as you guys can see. So now they're sort of just so kind of sitting how they used to just a bit rougher um, I've also kind of changed my mind slightly about it, so I'm trying to get my pop socket thing. Um, so probably in about three weeks, um, putting oil, castor oil on them every day, they thickened up again and they like got their fluffiness back. Um, but they sort of stayed standing up, which I didn't mind once they had a bit of body back in them. But um, when I did get them, when I did them myself, um, yeah, I didn't like them because they were like stuck to my face. They were too much. But if I could like maybe do it for a lesser time, you know, like process it all less, um, I would use it. But this is about Glossier. So, yeah, I've been loving the concealer, been loving the boy brow and the Generation G lipstick. I haven't really used the... Um, cloud paint but I did just remember about it so I'm gonna put it or yeah put it in my eye line so that I use it and then I haven't I think it's up there been using the skin fetish I saw the worst review of it on Instagram and it made me a bit nervous but I have vowed to say that I'm gonna keep trying it um and I wanna I I'm like I wanna look to see is it like this girl was saying, like it's marketed as skincare, but really it's actually not got some great ingredients in it. So that's what I want to basically sit and take a look at and see whether it is skincare or is makeup. Because if it's makeup, I will use it as makeup. Um, 
and if it's skincare I guess I'm gonna literally say the same thing I'd use it as skincare so yeah guys I hope you enjoyed this video it was slightly long-winded and it had a lot of likes in it and it was it was it was a challenge to edit, even though the editing's not that good, but you know me. Um, the talking's the best part, guys. So uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Not long now, guys, a month till I go. Um, so honestly, guys, if anyone's got any recommendations, um, I'd love to hear it. I'm gonna wash my face and then I'm gonna derma roll, which I haven't done in ages, so. Thank you guys for watching this non-derma rolling, brow lamination related video, Glossier video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Hopefully when my chin's cleared up.